Hi, welcome back for another quick prototype unboxing. This time we have with us Inaros Falling. This is a game coming to crowdfunding soon. So this is a game designed by Luca Sanfilippo and Ugo Tomasello and published by Pickwick Dreams. It's a new game for 1 to 2 players. Plays around 45 to 60 minutes, ages 14 and up, and weight 3 out of 5. This is a game that falls under the categories of adventure, fantasy, fighting and miniatures. It has various mechanisms. Among a few to list are action events, area majority influence, area movement, car play with conflict resolution, grid movement of course on the main board that you'll see, which is a hexagon grid based board, hand management, hidden movement, layering, and also it offers solo uh, but as well, there is a, a, a strong tile placement element in the game. So, what is Inaros Falling all about? This is a game that, uh, uh, of course, uh, has to do with fighting, with miniatures. Uh, you're welcome to Inaros Falling, the world-shattering game of Shaman on Shaman Dueling. It's a dueling game, navigating through wildlands and harness their powers in order to increase your magical might. You meet the other shaman and prove your mastery and uh, the game asks you if you have what it takes to become the wisest shaman that the land has ever seen. Each turn has uh, up to four phases, deeds, fate, cantrips and fatigue. And in the first phase a player can play two actions from uh, a, a pool of uh, various options like drawing five cards, playing cards on the hand, using personal die to move miniatures and sacrifice magic stones. In the second phase, which is optional, takes place as a consequence of the character's movement. Um, of course, also the third place, the third phase is uh, optional, and players can sacrifice magic stones to get experience uh, points and get boons from red magic lands. And the final phase decreases the energy value of a personal die of the active player. The game ends if uh, uh, one of the following conditions are uh, completed, like a player completes their six spaces for magic uh, land in their personal board. Either uh, three magic land piles are depleted, a player loses all their vital stones, or a player loses all their characters. So. Again, this is going to be uh, a quick, rough dive into the box of this prototype. This is a highly developed and late stage prototype, so it has a lot of playtesting and a lot of games and you can follow the company uh, with a lot of um, things that they have done. I think they have done a lot of uh, like tournaments and a lot of playtesting as well. So they're coming to crowdfunding. So let's first of all check what's inside the box and soon we'll follow up after I have uh, unboxed everything with another a video on uh, how to play the game with a preview uh, of how you play the game, explanation of the rules, as well as a demonstration um, uh, of the game and, of course, my final thoughts. So, let's dive without further ado into the box. The box is really, really nice. As you can see, uh, it's a high-quality box. It has a demonstration of the game actively played at the back. Uh, you pay resources to expand your shadow, you explore wildlands and harness their power, and then you unleash the might of the magic battles. So this is how um, the board looks like. This is a dueling game, one versus one, and there is also a solo mode. So, let's see what we find inside the game. So first of all we have, I'm going to mention this little box in a sec, the rule book. Um, this is an almost complete rulebook, but a few things can change. You have the basic rules, you have the levels, and you have the appendix. So this is a main board, this is a, uh, the side board, the battle board. And then you have various components to double-sided personal boards, various magic lands, different uh, shadow cards, different tiles, 18 characters in two colors for the two players, and magic crystals. And also additional components for uh, the levels. So this is uh, the anatomy of uh, the game board. Looks like a, a very nice dueling on uh, an elevated island or flying rock or something. This is the anatomy of the battle board, of the player board. Everything is explained. The gameplay with the phases that I just described. More explanation on each of the phases, as you can see. It's a very easy to follow game, but has a lot of depth, a lot of strategy from what I hear, so I'm really looking forward to give this one a try. And then of course you have explanation for every aspect of the game. And the levels. Level 1, Novices, Level 2, Glory Seekers, and Level 3, Thunderous Clash. There is also an appendix 
for the power's explanation so you have all the tiles explained so there's nothing to be left on guessing so that's really really nice and the experience fragments as well and a glossary at the end so let's see what we find inside and how the game looks so this is a board and oh gosh this is huge i don't know if they're going to use this uh, this quality on the final production but this is really really a uh, thick board and uh, look at that look at that it's recessed the whole board is recessed so it's a uh, player versus player and you can see here um, nice recess for various things both in the main board and on the sides side of the board so this is how uh, the board would be uh, let's see what else we find in here this is a battle board again really really nice and recessed you're layered with thick cardboard <laughs> really thick so um, this sits next to there then you have uh, the various magical lands that uh, have the different abilities so let's just lay out a few so that you can see how uh, more or less they look like and how many they are they have some shadow cards a full deck quite a few cards okay okay then we have experience fragments which are those square tokens And again, there are quite a few. Let's pull them out. I don't know if uh, the game will come with this uh, insert, but it looks very practical as well. There are also uh, evocation tokens. And then we have those uh, shadow tiles. There are 55, so this is a really, really rich uh, uh, game and prototype. <laughs> so a lot of components and material in the game. So I'm really looking forward to to duel with this game. So let's see. Very promising. Then we have this uh, insert with uh, various. Uh, uh, transparent cubes that are going to be used for the recess spots on the board okay we have uh, 18 characters we have eight followers eight shaman masks and two extra characters so this is how they look the characters with their masks very very unique really liking uh, the way uh, those minis look extremely well done there are quite a few as you can see then you have two extra characters i don't know if these are going to be wooden or uh, miniatures at the end but anyway although so far it's looking really rich uh, this game there are also these I don't know if you can see, they're black. The game comes with uh, two shadow dice, one for each player, custom dice, really nice, good quality. And then we have three combat dice, also custom dice, very, very beautiful, unique, with a nice faces okay there are three temples and uh, maybe in the deluxe edition these would be miniatures so instead of tokens very nice also adding more 3d aspect in the game uh, there are two double-sided uh, shadow tiles two player boards one for each player these are the two shamans fighting one another and these are two-sided. 
Okay. And the slots here for uh, different things that you can uh, upgrade yourself with. Looks very nice. This is uh, the character mini board. No, sorry, this is experience fragment platform. I think it goes here on the side. Yeah. Okay. And these are uh, the two character mini boards. Okay, cool. There are a couple of uh, play rates as well. And uh, last but not least, this game also includes this box Dark Adventure, which uh, maybe it's an expansion, maybe it's an add-on, I don't know. I will uh, be looking forward to see what's going on in the... in the campaign. I'm going to add the link to the description uh, in the description of this video. So, rulebook solo mode. Ah, okay, maybe this is the solo. Uh, then there are the rules for the solo, looks very nice and very very interesting, okay, I like the fact that you can also play solo, usually these dueling games you cannot play them as solo, they're just purely for two players, so I'm really already uh, happy with this option, so these are nice because you also modify the, the board as you can see with these uh, shadow tiles or whatever they're called, okay, very nice good and there is also the rulebook duel for the dark adventures expansion so, oh level four must mischief and level five okay cool and then you have uh, i think one more shaman i don't know if it's just the solo yeah i suppose it's a solo because it's uh, two-sided uh so i think this most probably is a solo player Then there are two dice, one shadow die and one battle die. There are these tiles that they go on top of uh, the main board and they add the new elements of the solo mode. Okay, really nice. Some uh, cubes, some land tiles. And some more tokens are uh, completing all the components for the game. So there you have it. This is uh, very nice. I'm really looking forward to give this one a try. This is in Arrows Falling, a very promising uh, dueling game with a solo option. I haven't seen that before. I love dueling games, but uh, typically you cannot play them solo. So this is already a plus in my book. Production looks uh, awesome. Very high quality prototype. I can't even imagine how the final production of the game would be. So looking forward to give this, this a try and I'll come back and report uh, after a couple of sessions with my first uh, impressions about the game and uh, record uh, also the how to play so that you can see how the game plays. So many thanks for watching. <music>